Hi, I'm Dave Isaacs, and I'm coming to you today from the Guitar Studio on Music Row here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I want to talk to you today about a workshop that I'm giving in Columbia, Missouri on December the 7th for Lydico Music called The Music in Your Head, How to Communicate What You Hear. And that's exactly what it's about. Now you might not think of yourself as a musician. Most songwriters don't. If you're not particularly skilled on an instrument, or maybe you don't sing at all, then it's easy to say, well, I'm not musical. But the bottom line is, you write songs, you hear music every day, you know what music sounds like, and you probably have a good idea of what you want your songs to sound like. The problem is, if you're not able to put that across when you're talking to somebody, it doesn't matter if it's a co-writer or a producer or a musician on a session or maybe somebody who's backing you up at a writer's night, if you can talk to them in a way that they understand, if you can speak their language, then you're that much more likely to hear something that matches up with your own vision. So that's what this is all about. Now you don't have to have any musical training to understand some simple ideas about music. It breaks down to three areas. There's rhythm, there's melody, and there's harmony. Rhythm is the beat. It's the thing that we feel. It's the thing that makes us move. You can learn to start to identify the difference between what musicians call different grooves or different feels and how things make us move or relax or drive. Something like this has a very different character from something like this. And it's more than the difference between fast and slow. It's also about an excitement, an energy pushing forward versus some more relaxed sort of feeling. And you probably know just from looking at a lyric whether you want that driving push or whether you want something to be a little bit more relaxed. So you learn some terms to communicate that, to tell a drummer that it's a shuffle. As opposed to a ballad feeling. Now, we can also talk about melody. Melody is, of course, the tune. It's the thing that you sing. Let's talk about something as simple as just Do, Re, Mi. It's three steps going up. Do, up a step. Re, up a step. Mi. You don't have to know anything about music to hear that as climbing. Ba, ba, ba. Flip it around and it's descending. Mi, Re, Do. Three blind mice. Thinking of it like that, you hear the steps small increments going up or going down. Now compare that with something like say somewhere over the rainbow and if I talk about the steps, the shape of it, big jump somewhere down a little over, down a little further and then filling the gaps and now here's the whole phrase somewhere over the rainbow and just that opening leap it really amplifies the word somewhere it creates the whole feeling of the song right in two notes right there and you can start noticing those things in all kinds of songs and how you can take advantage of that and what that does to amplify the emotional content of your lyric then that brings us to harmony harmony is chords <laughs> If I want to communicate a different feeling, I can make those chords minor. And clearly those two songs are not going to be about the same thing. And you can certainly learn to hear the difference between brighter, happier, and darker, sadder. So these are the kinds of things we're talking about. They're just basic elements of music. They're things all musicians understand. And what we're going to do in this workshop is look at your songs. Spend a little time doing what you might call pre-production. This is something you might do with a producer before you go into the recording studio, where you sit down and the two of you come up with a shared understanding of what that song is going to sound like. So I hope you do join us in Columbia, Missouri on December the 7th. The workshop is at Piano Distributors in Columbia, and you can find out more at lydicomusic.com. L-Y-D-A-C-O and you can find out more about me at www.nashvilleguitarguru.com Thanks for watching and hope to see you December 7th.